No way. Wait. Hey, Stop calling me. Oh my god, no. How they looking? You did it, baby. Oh my my. What? This month on National Geographic Channel. It's what you know. Something I'll remember for the rest of my life. But not what you expect. Ready to do this? Talk to me in minute. Can you call the medical team? They're sending you out. You have no idea what you're going into. Wow. So, think inside the box this month with National Geographic Channel. Anticipate the unexpected with Safety Shield technologies. Introducing the all new Nissan Note. Sponsored by Bet365. Brilliant Brazilians have been dazzling La Liga for more than two decades. And there are big hopes for the latest name in the legacy, Neymar. He starts tonight, but without his Argentine teammate, Lionel Messi. Barcelona against Valladolid is live from the Camp Nou. Well, guys, Gimenezeta and Michel Salgado are with me. Guys, how do you feel Neymar has settled in at Barcelona? And is there any more responsibility on him with Lionel Messi being out? I think he's done very well. He, he's... Since the moment he arrived to Barcelona, he knew Messi was the leader. He knew he said he was going to be there for learning and, and improve his, his game. And in a way, I think it's good for him that Messi is not there because he, he obviously is more responsibility for him. But at the same time, he gives more minutes, he's given the freedom that maybe when Messi is, is there, he hasn't got it. Uh, but on the other side, when, when Messi is not there, it's what everyone wants, uh, Messi and Neymar, like linking together. So that's, that won't happen. But, like I say, in a way, I think for, for him as an individual player, it's, it's good it's, it's, to take the responsibility and have more freedom when he got the ball. Three changes Tata Martino makes from the win in Glasgow against Celtic. In comes Song, Teo and Alexis. Um, out go Busquets, Pedro and Iniesta. Bayo de Lille also make three changes in their game against Malaga last time out. But just staying on the theme of Neymar, Mitchell, if you were his agent, what would you be thinking was the best way to improve? I will sign himself. For, I will sign him for Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> That's First of all, thing. not you'd be uh, earning you a lot know, of money. But most, second of all, for, for me, would it be better for Messi not to be in the side for his improvements? No, the most surprising thing, uh, you know, from me, uh, from my point of view of Neymar, is the way he's playing in Barcelona. He's, he's not being selfish. He's playing for the team. He's doing the things really simple, and that's that's really a, a really good start, you know, to you know, for him in, in this Barcelona. Now he has to take responsibility as Messi's out. And, you know, I think it's going to be really good for him, you know, these two weeks. OK. He's going to enjoy the football. Come to your team at the camp, no? Jerry Armstrong and Kevin Keating. Thanks, Scott. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, a warm welcome to the Camp Nou, the home of the joint league leaders. And they play ahead of Atletico Madrid, who are at home to Celta Vigo on Sunday. And Barcelona underway here with a real opportunity to stretch their lead at the top to three points. We would have been hoping at kick-off time to be 
having the opportunity to go eight clear of Real Madrid. But what a dramatic finish you've just seen at Levante with those two late Real Madrid goals to edge out Levante by three goals to two. Barcelona side shows uh, some changes, three in all from the team that started against uh, Celtic. Busquets and Pedro get a rest. Opportunity for Alexis and Teo to come in and play their part tonight. Xavi helping this on to Neymar. Still no Messi, of course, who's out with a thigh problem. Vidalid cruelly hit by injury as they come here to the reigning champions. They've got no less than six of their first team squad missing. It's not the biggest squad in La Liga, Jerry, so an already difficult task is almost a mountainous one for the team in purple and white. Absolutely. This is not a place you want to come when you're looking for a result. They've only won once this season, Kevin, and that was at home. And uh, they've had some draws. They've had two or three draws, but it's a difficult game to come to. The only plus is that Barcelona had a Champions League game midweek. That might be a plus for them, but I'm not convinced it's going to be enough to get value to uh, a result here tonight. You've got to fancy Barcelona to pick up all the points. This is Alexis. Fabregas. Now Chabi. coming off that 1-0 success at Celtic who's given them three excellent games in recent times in the Champions League I know the Barcelona players were fulsome in their praise again of the atmosphere at Celtic Park Gerard Piquet called it the best in Europe few would argue with that particularly on those European nights this is Alexis can't get it back off Xavi Bartra, who's continuing in defence, Jerry, with the absence of Javier Mascherano with injuries. He's had a contract, Mark Bartra, at the end of the season. He'll turn 23 in January. Do you think it's make or break for him right uh, now? It is make or break, but he's getting an opportunity. That's the plus. And, you know, when you're playing with quality players like this and against the opposition he's playing against, it's, it's not going to do him any harm. Oh, good run. Rukovina just gets a foot in there on Teo. First corner of the game to Barca. By the lead, come here with just one defeat in the last five games. They've drawn three of the last four. A draw here would feel like a win. I think Jim would take it now. Kevin would be offering them the draw, and so would the fight the big players. Burn in mind the. The lack of strength and depth in the entries they've got. Where's Tellio? I should call him Turbo. His name up. Xavi. Adriano. Back with Neymar. back with Victor Valdez who still maintains this will be his last season with Barcelona before he looks for a new venture he's playing well Kevin though Victor Valdez is having a very good season if it's his last season it's a good one it's a great plan Xavi fed in towards Fabregas a vital the former Barcelona youngster Mark Valiente got the touch there for Valladolid Super build-up, Kevin. Typical Barcelona, one-touch football. And the cross from the right was excellent. Good defending from Valiente. Well, Vardalid not too happy there. They had a, a semblance of a counter-attack on, but the referee pulled play back for the free kick. See too much wrong with that. This is the build up though. You can see Neymar, Fabregas, Chave, and then the cross from Alexis. And 
Wonderful defending from Valiente. Pass short from uh, Rukovina. Alex Song for Chavi now. Alexis. The idea was good from Alexis, just the pass was poor, Kevin, trying to play that one-two at pace. But Valladolid are not retaining possession long enough for me. And that's why Barcelona will end up with 70-odd percent possession. Ebert. Good ball from the German, this is Rukovina. up by Alves. This is Peña. Cortish, the Moroccan going to ground, no free kick. Referee not in any mood to give finally the free kick. And Song getting a chance at centre of midfield, Kevin, instead of the normal partnership of Busquets. I think it's good to rotate the squad and give him some playing time. Adriano is continuing to deputise for the injured Jordi Alba. Xavi. Alexis. Possibly run again from the Chilean. And there's Fabregas! That was wonderful play from Alexis. Really good to see him accelerating and running at defenders like, like that and committing defenders. And then he slide rule passes it to Cesc Fabregas and Cesc will be disappointed he hasn't hit the target. He should have done better. Done by Fabregas, but not into the path of Neymar. Barcelona with a record breaking start, by the way, to this La Liga season. They won their opening seven, as have Atletico Madrid. It's a club record for them, too. The best start ever to a La Liga season is nine wins in a row. There's Teo. Real Madrid hold that record, incidentally. Xavi. Just a little tug there on Neymar. Can quite easily have any yellow card for pulling the shirt. And here's Telluard White on the left-hand side. Space now for Patrick Ebert. They're empty in midfield here, Barcelona. Bergdich. What? Out of harm's way for now by Mark Bartra. Well, it's good play. They had Javi Guerra in the centre. That was the intended target as Bergdich hit the ball in with the left foot. But that's what they're going to be doing tonight, Kevin. Via the lead will absorb the pressure when they get a chance to get forward two or three players and see if they can cause some damage. Ebert with a corner. And the header's in! Javi Guerra gives Vidalid the lead. And Barcelona's inability once more to defend set pieces rears its head. They had problems at Celtic in the Champions League in midweek. And Javi Guerra caused them plenty of problems there. I don't think it's a problem they've had just this season, Kevin. I think it's been something that's been going on for a few seasons. And again, well, he just peels off. 
and I can't understand why Javi Guerra is being picked up by Adriano. You know, he's not the tallest of defenders. Surely the likes of PK or Bartra. Who are they, Morgan? That's awful defending, really is. Good goal, though, from Javi Guerra. And look at Gerardo Tata Martino. He's not happy with that. And who would be? Javi Guerra scores for the third game in succession. He's their top scorer with four now this season. Well, it's excellent because they've only actually scored seven goals all season, Kevin. And the fact that he's got more than half of them. And cer certainly scoring a goal here at the new camp against the champions Barcelona. That's a fantastic achievement for this time. They kind of hang on to it. Free kick earned by Alexis Sanchez. from Alexis has looked sharp in the opening minutes. This is Teo. Dani Alves and the pressure applied by Bergdish. Who then fell the Brazilian. First real look at Zachariah Bergdish, who's come in to La Liga to join Vidalid in the close season from French football and Lens. And there's the man who's overseen the club record start, seven straight league wins. But Barca surprisingly behind here with a little over 12 minutes gone. Well, that's the only plus, Kevin, the fact that it's early in the game. What a shot. Fine save as well by Mourinho to deny Bartra. Well, he's already got a goal this season, Kevin. He showed good athleticism. Excellent strike as well. Short corner taken quickly. Neymar. Adriano. A little more comfortable this time for Diego Mourinho. Well, he's allowed to come forward a long way, Mark Bartra, and he shows good instincts. It's a fabulous strike, Kevin. Good save from the goalkeeper. He pushes himself to the right-hand side, Mourinho. Teo. Alexis! What a goal. It's magnificent from Alexis Sanchez. And this time, Mourinho is clawing thin air. I don't think he'll score a better goal this season, Kevin. That went like a rocket. What a strike from Alexis Sanchez. Third goal of the season. And that's a superb strike. What a good time to get it. Good play here from Telio. Spots him free on the right-hand side. Lovely side rule passing in. He frightens him with his pace. And as it back off, and that's a mistake for me, Pena backs off, Mark Valiente backs off, and he unleashes a rocket. Top right-hand corner, fabulous goal, 1-1. Simply unstoppable. I think they were behind two minutes, Kevin. That's all it took to get back on level terms. Here's Alves. Song. Neymar. Good run from Alexis. Guerra. Pena. Now Rossi. Player on loan to Vidalid from Juventus. First to Rossi.
There's Jim. Juan Ignacio Martinez. He won't be too disappointed with the opening 15 minutes. I'm sure he wouldn't blame the goalkeeper for the last goal. I don't think Mourinho had a, a chance to anywhere near it, but backing off from the defence was not good defending for me. As good play from Chad, you're working back, Kevin. Superb turn from Neymar into the path, didn't have to break his stride, it's Christian Teo! Allowing Rueda to get back to make the challenge, it was an absolutely vital one. Chavi. Adriano. Oh. There's a problem. Referee's going to blow the whistle. It's Rossi who's gone down. I don't know if he's caught the ball in the stomach or he's winded or what it is. Immediate concern amongst the Barcelona players who were close to Fausto Rossi. The legs just seem to buckle underneath him there off the ball. That's what happened there. Yeah. Well, Delayed reaction, wasn't it? This is look at Tello here, Kevin. He starts in the edge of his own box, and look how quickly he gets up. Great turn from Neymar. He plays the ball in the path, and look who's on the end of it. And I just thought he took too long here to get the shot off. He looked to take too long, and I think it's Mark Valiente gets across. That's a brilliant piece of defending. Wonderful defending, but I thought Tello should have got the shot off earlier. Rossi appears to be okay. Bartra. Guerra. Bogdish. Omar. Good run from Ebert. Looking around for an assistance flag, and there wasn't one. Kevin, he could have taken it down. Why does he need to go for the spectacular? You know, and I was looking for the flag to come up as well. Let's have a look, see. He runs. Well, he's level. He's actually level. The right back plays him on. I think it's Danny Alves. And he could have controlled the ball and turned and did whatever he wanted. He didn't need to produce the bicycle kick. That's a chance. Good football as well from via the lead on the counter-attack. Just come back from an offside position. Omar oh, Ramos. Yep. The referee spotted that. Fabregas. Alexis. Xavi. Okay, the first Barcelona player. Recently, to reach 450 league games, Xavi Hernandez. Evet. Omar. Chance to open the play out there for the fullback Pena. Fabregas. Kavina, judged that well. Yeah, it was a diagonal ball they've used quite a lot this season, Kevin. Under Tata Martino. 
and Rukovin has done well to get it back to the goalkeeper. Fabregas, Chavi. Good pass from Chavi. Baraja for Burgdish. Last touch shot, Barter, corner. Oh, there was a break on on the left hand side. Burgdish was trying to get it out there. And Bartra trying to defend, coming back. Couldn't really do anything else and has given away the, the corner kick. And they're not good. Mark and Kevin have to mark much better than the last one as a poor ball. There's the movement. So simple. There's the goal the other end. That was just spectacular, wasn't it? Victor Valdez certainly enjoyed it. Chevy. Gets it back off Danny Alves. Neymar. Chevy quickly closed down and once again. And the lead looks for the quick tank to attack. It's Javi Guerra for Zachariah Bogdish. Great opportunity there to take the shot on, turned it down. Well, that's his mistake, Kevin. You don't get too many opportunities like that. Test the goalkeeper, have a strike. Neymar. Chevy. Neymar again. Omar. Omar looking for Bergdish. Only held up at the last by Bartra. Well, there are bursts of pace here from Omar and then Bergdish joining them, Kevin, and causing all sorts of problems. And Barcelona a little bit sloppy for me. Look at Adriano trying to get back. Omar. And there's three Barcelona players where he still slide rule passes it, and Danny Alves is lucky he doesn't give away a penalty there. Evet with a corner. <laughs> Worth a try. Never troubling uh, Victor Valdez's goal. That was a great tackle, isn't it, from Baraja? Younger brother of. Ruben Baraja. Excellent challenge, wasn't it? Well, as you can see by the attempts, it's been open, entertaining at the Camp Nou and a goal apiece. Vardalid deservedly on terms here. He's doing well tonight for me, Alexis Sanchez. He's played very well in the opening 25 minutes, Kevin. Valiente, Rueda, Rossi, Rukovina, the Serbian fullback, Baraja, really dropped there for Neymar, he almost had his pocket picked by Xavi, didn't get the pass off quickly enough there, Baraja. Song. Ah. 
Alves. Fabregas. Mistake by Rueda. Xavi was trying to make more of an opening. They looked a decent one as it stood there for Xavi Hernandez. Well, was... How guilty of not taking the shot on. Yeah, you were right, Kevin. He was a chance. He could have took the shot on. Wanted to try and make it better. Here says Fabregas. Neymar. Having a free kick, and a free Fernando Teixeira Vitienes has play on. Here's Bartra. Fabregas. Rip off. Neymar! Vital save from Mourinho. Great football, Kevin. Slide rule pass coming up here. Fabregas spots the run. Timing of the run's perfect, and the keeper stands up. And he saves it with his right foot. Mourinho, that's a great save. Chavi with the corner. It's a good uh, opportunity there, and he knows it, Alexis. Didn't get enough meat on it, did he, Kevin? He got up early, got a glancing header on it, but didn't really catch it properly. And now here come via the lead on the counter-attack. Bogdish. Ramos all over Song. Javi. Danny Alves. Xavi, Teo, Neymar, free kick given, no Messi, of course, owing to injury, so Xavi and Dani Alves will have a chat. Well, he'll be telling Xavi it's too far out for him so that he can have a dig at it. And he'll remind Xavi that he's a Brazilian. <laughs> Xavi will say, look at the armband on my left arm, and I'll have this. No, he'll also say, how many World Cups have you won? <laughs> <laughs> Just hit the target, that's the main thing. He's got to hit the target here, Xavi. Well, this man doesn't get as many opportunities in this situation, of course, with a great Messi around normally. He's perfectly capable, and we know that. The big build-up was a bit of an anti-climax for Javi. I'm waiting to see if Danny Alves goes over and says, I told you you should let me take it. Andres Iniesta, who was applauded off at Celtic in midweek, another midfield masterclass. And full marks to the Celtic fans for doing that, because they, over their history, fans have always known their football up there. and know a good player when they see it. I don't know about good, Kevin. I think world class would be closer to the mark. Mm. You made a good point earlier, though. There was three or four free kicks, corner kicks that Celtic had chances and didn't take them. I'm sure, Neil Lennon will be watching the opportunity and the goal that was scored earlier. That's a great run now from Neymar. Change of pace oh. there from Neymar. Pena got to him fairly in the eyes of the referee. I think it was fairly, but it was a fabulous run and a great piece of defending from Pena. Song. Fabregas. Neymar. This time, he's looking even more earnestly at the referee. And again, it was Pena who was the closest defender to uh, Neymar. Referee 
not interested in Barcelona's claim for the penalty. Oh, I'd like to see it again. Senor Tetieres. Good day, Enes Tetieres is a good referee, but my first thought was it looked a penalty. The second one, Kevin, he was well clear. He didn't need to go down. Fans are waving the white flags. They're not happy. Let's have a look at it. First touch, he's out, away. That's a penalty kick. That's a penalty kick, Kevin. It has to be a penalty kick. There's no way that's not a penalty kick. That's crazy. As well as catching him with the arm, he's caught across the back of his heels. All day long, that is a penalty kick for me. And there's 18 other teams in any given season in La Liga. I would argue a strong case that Barcelona and Real Madrid get a lot of penalties. Maybe they shouldn't. Maybe that decision has gone the way of Vidalid. Adriano. Neymar to ground again. That's chaos in the defence here by the lead. Off the ball incidents on Neymar. Referee saw it, but didn't do anything about it. I wonder what the linesman felt on that far side. I mean, he must have seen it just as easy as the referee. Instruction on Dani Alves. Well, have a look at this. That's Kevin. His left leg just completely takes both of Neymar's ankles. It's just unbelievable the referee hasn't given it. Yellow card then for Bergish. Already seen a red this season, the Moroccan sent off against the Levante. There's no way they're five yards, let alone ten yards away from the ball. Referee making sure back the required distance. It's going to be a short one, I think. Change of mind. Fed in by Chevy. Teo. Song. Adriano. That's Teo. Just his second start of the season. Bartra. Chevy. Neymar. Just have to be absolutely precise that pass. Chevy was onto it, but just a little bit too much purchase from Neymar. Jordi Alba, Javier Mascherano, both uh, currently out with injury. Been a bit of discussion over Messi's availability or not for the forthcoming Argentina World Cup qualifying games. Almost certain to go to Brazil, just uh, got that in their back pocket really, so they could very easily do without him and Barcelona hoping that he doesn't go. He's currently out with that thigh problem. Adriano, look well by Valiente. Bergdich, only Javier ahead of him, and here he is. 
Kovina. Ebet. Fabregas. Lucky ricochet there for Bergdish. Speculative to say the least, wasn't it? From that sort of range, and Jim looks suitably concerned. I think Lady Luck smiled on him though with the last penalty, Kevin. I wasn't sure about the first shot, but the second one was 100% certain. Fabregas, Teo. Adriano, Teo, Neymar, Charles broke off his own pass in the end. Well, it's congested, they play a lot through the middle third, Kevin, the two fullbacks tuck in alongside the central defenders and narrow the pitch down. And everything's played through that middle third, just how look congested it is, but on the flanks here when Teo gets it, He's a one on one, he can skin anybody. Fabregas, Alexis. Says Fabregas again, Xavi. Adriano, just have a look at the target. Kenya. Evet. TK comes to win the day against Rukavina. That's a good play. Vaya, the leader playing their part as well, Kevin. They're working hard, pressing as well as they can, and so too for Barcelona with that challenge from PK. Now oh, the breaks on Dani Alves. Bertish trying to get back to him. This is Alexis. There's a lot. Uh, Alexis' movement's been brilliant, Kevin, today. You can see the diagonal run, the timing of the run, the passes. He's done really well here. This is the break on. And as Danny Alves looks up, you can see Alexis bursting into the space. He's well on side. There's a shot come cross, isn't it? He's looking up, he's trying to cut it back. No one on the end of it. Adriano. Javi. Neymar. Javi. to the edge of that final lead penalty area and it broke down rather too easily. Here's Fabregas. <laughs> 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 
Alexis. Alves. Fabregas into the return. Just slipped and his arm caught the ball. He's unlucky. First half. Draw specialists lately. Three of the last four. Frustrating PK and company up to now. No Iniesta, as the boys were talking about there from the start. Only on the bench, Messi injured. That's wider lead with no changes at half time. Who we'll get the second half underway here at the Camp Nou? And from Barcelona's point of view, Jerry, Tata Martino, what would he have been his main gripe? in that first half do you think not create more goal scoring opportunities for the amount of possession they've had maybe not taking two or three chances that they had a chance to have a strike a goal and being brave i mean the strike from alexis was unbelievable and it was a long way out if you could strike a ball as good as that then why do you have to pass it so much anywhere around the edge of the box hit the target and then get people to follow up for bits and pieces coming back off the uh, goalkeeper and they're predictable sometimes come through the middle cap because it's the middle third it's the most congested and there's a lot of space in the flanks here's neymar just clipped there by rossi that will be a yellow card for fausto rossi it shows good acceleration neymar off the from the starting position, it just accelerates very quickly away. And as he goes there, you can see he just clips his heels. Not unlike the penalty shot in the first half, Kevin. Danny Alves being forced to walk away. As Neymar looks like he fancies this one. Surprise find it when he got three in that wall. Maybe that's why, Kevin, you have to hit the target if you're going to score. And again, been very unimpressive, I think, in the free kicks. Haven't really seen them test the goalkeeper once. Just in case you missed the action in our first game this evening. Dramatic finale, Real Madrid with 2-1 down very late into the game at Levante. Morata and Ronaldo with a deflected winner. And virtually the last kick of the game gave Real Madrid a 3-2 win. Uh, up to third after Villarreal briefly took that position after their win on Friday. Real Madrid on 19 points, Barcelona currently on 21. Bergdich. Well, Bergdich, his final touch was too heavy. It was easy for Bartra. He did quite well in the first half, thought, I thought Kevin didn't really get exposed at all. Barcelona's company at the top have a home game on Sunday. Atletico Madrid will host Celta. Vigo. Incidentally, Barcelona's games against Atletico are quite intriguing this season. They don't meet until January at the Vicente Calderon. And the second meeting will be the final game of the season. I wonder if it will still be tight by then. Here's Alexis. Stare towards you, referee. Well, this is a dive, Kevin. Straight legs, what's this? As he turns that way, he just goes, look. <laughs> and neither of the officials are going to buy that one. They've well, worked them well via the lead, pressing and working in twos and threes to not allow Barcelona to dominate and play the style of football they want to play.
Alex Song. Alves. Xavi. Fabregas. Almost slipped it through to Neymar. Alexis. Alexis Sanchez, probably the pick of the Barcelona players in the first half. Certainly was, Kevin. Even apart from the goal, his runs and movement's been excellent. Adriano. Neymar. Alves. Neymar. Up well by Rueda. Fabregas. Alexis. Piquet. Xavi. Neymar. Acceleration of pace makes him so dangerous. Here's Xavi! Well, that's what it required. Just that little injection of pace began by Neymar. And Vidal without an answer to it. Well, we saw it from Alexis in the first half a couple of times, Kevin. Neymar's done it a few times, and that was excellent again. Running at defenders causes all sorts of problems. He fed the ball out wide to Telio. First time ball from Telio was great, and there's the side foot pass. Excellent, just great skills from Xavi. Tell you, it's passing. It's it's simple when you play like that, isn't it? Cause all sorts of problems for the defence. And he just guides the ball with the inside of his right foot, far corner of the net. Thank you very much. Two one up. Now they've got to build on that. They can't sort of relax and think we're two one up. We're home. Well, they went behind in the first half. For the first time this season, with that header from Javi Guerra. He went behind for long with that quick fire equaliser, spectacular shot from Alexis Sanchez. And now the captain has stepped forward to give us uh, more to the look of the scoreline at the top of your screen that we expected and anticipated rather earlier in the game. Full credit though to Vardalil who've come here with a game plan, they've been brave. Jerry touched on in first half commentary, they don't score a lot of goals, but if they're going to leave here with anything, they're going to have to score again. I'm just looking, you know, Adriano is like five or six yards most of the time away from Telio down his left hand side. It's as if they're playing with two wide left players. Is uh, Adriano A lucky break here for Neymar Alves the referee's given a free kick against Bartra. 
to Martino. Nonplussed about that decision. Senior Vettienes. Alexis. Neymar. And they go all the way. Well, they were shown on the outside, Cavani. He didn't hit the target. That's the only thing he's done wrong. It was a good run, good acceleration. Omar and Cole put him under a bit of pressure, but he didn't hit the target. Song and Chavi Neymar. That's oh, brilliantly done by Neymar. Quite drop for Chavi. Barcelona will have a free kick. Neymar really threatening to light up the Camp Nou with some excellent work in the last uh, four or five minutes, which led to that goal that has Barcelona in front. Such responsibility on young shoulders in the World Cup next summer. I think this given for studs up, dangerous play on Rossi. But... Uh, Danny Alves is looking to see if he can strike this one from a long way out. They haven't hit the target yet. Took a deflection. As I say, the free kicks have been disappointing, Kevin. Chavi's corner. Neymar. Space now for Fabregas. It's Teo! And Mourinho is beaten. So he's done really well here, Kevin. You can see he's measured, he's come inside on his right foot and thought, I can curl this. And he bends it and dips it. Unfortunately, it hits the top of the crossbar for the keeper beaten. Very unfortunate. Ebet. Rossi. Lukovina. Bergdish. Picked off by Pique. First time for a number of minutes that Vardalid had been in Barcelona territory. Xavi. Alves. Neymar. Excellent cover from Mark Valley, and he's done that so well, Kevin. So now at the back, he's been reading situations as we see this attempted shot from Telio from. Great angle to see it here, he's curling it. Look at the way it's curled and dipped. Great skill. Valiente didn't quite make uh, the grade into the first team after coming through the La Masia Academy. Played one senior game for Barcelona, it was in the Copa del Rey. Back in 2008, under Frank Reichardt at the time. 
Omar. Well, Omar and Berg Dietz didn't quite read the situation and giving the ball away far too easy for me, Kevin. They don't hold possession long enough via the lead. Xavi. Dani Alves. That was good again from Valiente. Bergdich. Adelaide getting ready to bring Umberto Osorio on, who's a midfielder. Meantime, it's Christian Teo. Osorio wearing seven. Summer signing from the Argentine club San Martin. He's a Colombian. Been around a bit. He's also played in Venezuela and Peru. Osorio, among the head, put it away, Javi Guerra. Javi Guerra, Vardalid's goal scorer in the first half, rather reluctantly made his way off. That's well, fresh, fresh legs, Umberto. Osorio will hopefully go in and try and improve the situation in the final 30 minutes of this game. Described him as a midfield player, he's an attacking midfield player. Yep. Obviously he can, in the opinion of Martinez, can play the lone role in attack. Straight swap there for Guerra. He's got a goal already this season, Osorio. That's a good play. Neymar. Fabregas. Adriano. Alves. Neymar. Good cover. Very good cover from Rugavina. Excellent play, Kevin, though, wasn't it? Lovely little one-touch footballing in a very, very tight situation. Javi worked that beautifully with Alexis. These are hard yards now for Vidalid to close the gaps in by Alves. And once again, Valiente got his angles correct. This is the skills in the game when he just steps it up a gear, the acceleration, the one-touch play. Oh, brilliant stuff. Back heel it was from Neymar. He's looking the other way on the back heel and so close to being a fabulous goal. But, you know, with the, again, Kevin, I'll stress the possession they've had. They should have more shots at goal and more on target. And that's the only problem for me. They're not testing the goalkeeper, Mourinho, enough. Next out to Dani Alves and Alexis fed by Neymar. Tidy finish from the Chilean international. And Neymar is having quite an influence on this second half. Well, it's his pass that's opened them up, but Kevin, it's simple football. It's it's just pass and move. That's all it is, passing and moving. And very direct as well. One mistake on the halfway line. I think it's Rossi Fausto. Rossi got his pocket picked just here. There it is. Brilliant from Danny Alves. There's the one pass. Look, there's one, two, three. Blue and white shirts taken out. Look at Valiente trying to get across to stop the shot from Alexis. But Chavi's pass and then Neymar's pass opens them up completely. And it's a wonderful goal. That's the cushion they wanted. Two goals for Alexis Sanchez tonight. He's been their best player, I think, and he's doubled his tally, four goals so far this season. Had a very good game for me.
And what do you do when you go 2 0 up? You bring on another world class player. Two goal advantage now. It's going to be not impossible, but nigh on for Vidalid to find two goals without reply. Fabregas making way for Iniesta. Well, he's played a lot of games, Sesk, and he's been a very important player for them this year so far. And got to rest him and give somebody else a run out for the final 25 minutes with the, the points seemingly looking the bag. Guys, Kermendieta was saying at half time, Jerry, he'd like to see uh, Iniesta and Barcelona's best players, particularly at this early stage of the season, not being rotated quite enough, but it seems already in the small time that Tata Martino has been in charge that he's quite keen on rotation. What's yep. your opinion at this stage? You know, I, I don't disagree with rotation, I think, especially when you've played away from home in a Champions League, it doesn't do any harm to get rest, and the manager will know better who would be fatigued at who's more important. And again, it's, it's a little bit of safety. He's played Cesc for 65 minutes, as well as the game, and he scored the winning goal against Celtic in midweek. I think so far, they're doing everything right. Neymar almost getting that through for Iniesta. Geitzka's point really though is that just players just want to play, don't they? Sure you, sure you felt that way in your in your career, but they've got to be patient these days, haven't they? Yeah, you, you never feel tired when you're winning, Kevin. That's the, the key. Yeah. Here's Alexis. He's on a hat trick at the moment, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh. Cheeky. Through the legs of Pena. But nobody anticipated. Bergdish, Ebert, here's Osorio, about to make sure there wasn't a shot at goal. The song, Alex Song done well again there, sweeping up the back of Bartra, giving cover to PK, which is good. Osorio. Substitutes firmly in his tracks there. Quarter of the game to go. Barcelona in measure of control now. Talked about this record, club record start of seven wins out of seven in the league. It's all part of a an excellent run they're currently on, it's 12 league wins in a row, stretching back into last season. They, they haven't been beaten in their last 19. Their last defeat was at Real Madrid in early March, 2-1. Alves. Iniesta. Cut out by Valiente. Iniesta. Dani Alves, Xavi, Alexis, oh lovely touch from Xavi, Alexis, and in by Neymar, 
He was very unselfish there, Alexis Sanchez, particularly when you consider he was on a hat-trick there. But Neymar provided Alexis a second, and now the honour is repaid. Well, if he hadn't have scored Neymar, you'd have asked the question, why didn't you shoot Alexis? Lovely football. He's in the wide position here, and as he comes inside, plays a lovely pass. And I don't know if it's good fortune or what it is. He's onside, though, that's for sure. Centre halves play Mark, Mark, Mark Valiente, and it is unselfish. Kevin, he scored the ball to Neymar, who dispatched it very neatly into the bottom corner. What about that little touch? Know, from was, that's what I'm saying. Did he mean it, or was it just pure skill? The cross, and he's just guided it with the outside of his left foot. It was Chavi for me, he meant it. He loves those little half touches, if you like. He was stretching, but I think he had that very much in mind. And he stretched and he cushioned it into the path of Alexis. All points secure now, no question. And there will be only one behind Real Madrid's all-time record start to a La Liga season. Mentioned in first-half commentary, it's nine in a row. That was set by Real back in 1968. The intriguing thing is, Jerry, as we look at uh, Valde Rama, the Albanian international coming on for Patrick Ebert for Vidalid. The intriguing thing is Barcelona have got a very winnable game to make it nine in a row. They go to Osasuna, and should they win that, then they've got a chance to break the record in the first Clasico of the season against, of course, Real Madrid. So it could be... Uh, Extra spice. Sounds tasty already, Kevin. I'm just <laughs> licking my lips. Mm. You'd fancy them to beat Osasuna, wouldn't you? Although Osasuna is not an easy, Pamplona's not an easy place to go to. When you consider that record was set 45 years ago, and the players that have worn the famous shirt of Real Madrid since, and none of them have been able, been able to go beyond uh, nine successive wins at the start of a season. It is. It's an incredible. Start as we see Xavi on the ball. Alves. Danny Alves. Side. Well, it was the other offside of the little nudge on the defender. Benya. He looks level, Kevin. Maybe lean and shoulder will be offside. So Pedro is going to get a run out for the final 18 minutes or so to replace Christian Teo. Pedro's had a blistering start to the season. Fabulous start, hasn't he? Five goals in six league appearances for the man coming on. Big favourite here. Didn't get uh, six goals, incidentally, last season, Pedro, until the fourth week of January. Yeah, hat trick against Rayo Vallecano, wasn't it, a few weeks ago? That always helps. But he has started the season really well, looks very positive. This is good news for Spain and Vicente del Bosque. a number of positives for Tato Martino at the moment in the absence of the star man Leo Messi with Alexis in good form Pedro as Jerry says started the season so well Neymar in fine form too and we all know the consistency in behind of the likes of Xavi and Iniesta and Fabregas and the gap on Real Madrid will remain at the end of the weekend Five points. Here's Berdish. Soria once had fed in early. There he is. It wasn't bad, Kevin. It wasn't bad at all.
was that the Arnold ball, Kevin? They, they must knock about five or six of those in a game, and Rugavina once again was up to it. Chevy. This is Neymar. Nice penalty, isn't it? He's not given it. Rueda's challenge on Neymar. Oh, first look at that. The crowd were convinced. Chevy immediately turned around to the referee. Was Neymar caught here by Rueda? Great skill, good balance. Let's have a look as he gets past. One trick to go one way comes the other. Well, I think he's left his leg out there, but he certainly catches his leg, Kevin, definitely. Rueda certainly catches his leg. I still feel the one in the first half was... Well, that was a cast-iron penalty for me. Down goes Rossi. There's a little word or two with Danny Alves, referee... Not in favour of uh, Rossi and Vidalid there. Adriano. Song. Chavi. Now on Neymar. That's Baraka. Iniesta. Adriano, that's all he could do. Substitution. Well, there's the left leg. I think he catches him, but does Neymar leave his left leg standing out for too long? Certainly everybody in the crowd thought it was a penalty kick. But I do feel the one in the first half was more, definitely more of a penalty kick for me. Gerard Piquet makes way for Sergio Busquets. I suspect now we'll see out the game at centre-back. Osorio Omar and the shot to, was driven in by uh, Rama yeah, it was blocked by Busquets as well Kevin he's got his leg in the way of the attempted shot chance to get the two centre backs up Rueda and Mark Valiente Omar then with the corner for Vidalid. Goes Valiente, wins it well. Oh, it into the back of the net by Pena, but the whistle had already gone in favour of Barcelona. Well, it's floated the far post, and you can see he's offside, Kevin. That's what it is. The linesman's flag has gone up. 
Saying that, Victor Valdez didn't know that. He's jumped over the top of him and put his hands up to block it. And uh, Danny Alves has caught a knock. There, clash of heads. He's caught one on the temple. I think it's Mark Valiente and he jumped. Certainly Valiente got up and headed the ball, but he also caught. And there's Valiente, he's got a little bit of a nick as well. And when you consider what went before Tata Martino in the coach's chair here, Jerry, in Tito Villanova and Pep Guardiola, yeah. it's been quite a start, hasn't it, for the, for the Argentine. You can't get any better than eight out of eight. No, it's been a fantastic start, but the thing he did say about himself, he says, I don't know about Spanish football because most of his football, obviously, he's been in South America. But he says, I do know about football, and he knows he's inherited a very technically gifted group. He's got them playing as a team. They're playing really well. Still feel they're not quite right at the back. I feel they're vulnerable on set plays, but from midfield up front, they're a scary team, they really are, they're going to create chances and win. On their day, when they create like five, six and they're very incisive, they could put six or seven past you with no problems. Not the best of clearances, a bit of pressure, Mourinho. Pena, just getting in front of the eager Alexis. The pace of Neymar and Alexis have caused a lot of problems, certainly in this game for Valladolid. Good to see those little bursts of pace in the final third, Kevin. That's what's done the damage. Here's Song. They're not short on pace, are they? When you look at Alexis, Teo, Neymar, well, they Pedro. Took, they took took Teo off, brought Pedro on. Another speed merchant, and you know, it's good to see. You'd buy a ticket for a 100-meter race, wouldn't you? Javi. Pena. Still no Carlos Puyol at the back, of course, for Barcelona. He has a lot of knee problems these days. Sure, they're going to get too many games out of him this season. No, I said that last season, Kevin. I can see every year he's going to play fewer and fewer games. It's because the type of player he is. He's so committed. He won't pull out of challenges. It's in his nature, and he's going to get more knocks. And uh, once he starts, then he might get two or three games before he picks up a knock as Adriano pushes forward. Space opening up here for Xavi. Neymar. Well, everybody backed off and he fancied a crack of goal on his left foot here. It's worth an effort, but he's got to hit the target. You've got to keep it down. You see he's going for the exit of par, and because of that, he's got underneath it. But certainly when the second goal went in, Kevin, they went into cruise control. The lead made it difficult for them first half, but the second half Barcelona has just run away with it. They're going to make one more substitution. Fail the lead. Alexis. Pedro, Adriano, 
Iniesta. Xavi. Neymar. Oh. <laughs> well, he found space for the pass, but it wasn't a... Uh, pass on the player in position for once. Five minutes to go. Having been given a scare and going a goal down to a brave fighter lead side in the first half who just about deserved to be on terms at the break. Normal service resumed in the second period. And they will make the substitution now, Kevin Vial the lead. And this is Alcatraz who's coming on. Colombian defender. I'm not going to say they play their get out of jail free card, Kevin, here, because I don't think they'll get out of this one at 4 1 down with five minutes to go. Just wonder who they're going to take off. So, Bertish. Yes, a man with a flamboyant name. There's going to be no escape. Iniesta, Pedro, Neymar, Alves, Turn from uh, Omar, running free momentarily of Song. Rama. Omar. Martinez has sent Alcatraz on into a more advanced position than his uh, details in their squad would suggest, but it's all about a consolation now. They may be gifted one here by a poor clearance from Victor Valdez, but in the end it's well defended by Busquets. Yeah, he's bailed them out there, it was an awful kick from Victor Valdez. It's a little bit too little too late, they're trying to push extra players forward with three minutes left on the clock, Kevin, and 4-1 down. Baraha. Omar. Poor ball by Rossi. This is Pedro. I think they know they've done enough, Kevin. It's just a question of taking down the clock, keeping possession. If a chance comes their way, then they'll take it, but just play their brand of football. Look at this, Danny Alves has played like a right winger the whole of the second half, and Adriano on the opposite side has been exactly the same. They just overload defenders, don't they? Keep possession until they find the opening. So many of these Barcelona players and the other nationalities, the non-Spaniards, will be off to play in important World Cup qualifiers. Spain need four points in the last two games to qualify for the finals. Points they ought to get. Notice there was four Atletico Madrid players in the 
later Spain squad, which rather underlines the progress they're making under Simeone, Juan Franz back in it, and Koke and Mario Suarez. Uh, all good players, Kevin. And David Vera, of course. Yep, all good players, all players that have really, really pushed on. And Koke is only 21, Kevin, and his energy levels have been fantastic. Suarez in the centre of midfield has been superb as well. We know what he's capable of. Of course, you may well have seen the news that Diego Costa now wants to play competitive international football at senior level for Spain and not his native Brazil. He has played in a friendly for Brazil, but the Atletico Madrid striker Costa says he wants to play for Spain. He was asked to play for Spain by Del Bosque. He's going to get his wish soon but he's not eligible for the upcoming qualifiers because the paperwork hasn't quite gone through yet. Kevin, he's been a handful. You know, he was a handful last year. He's still got that nasty streak to him as Omar Ramos picks up a yellow card for this challenge here. And he just he comes in with his elbow, he totally takes him out. We're into three minutes of stoppage time. The rain descends in Catalonia. It's been a sunshine start to the season, hasn't it? Eight wins out of eight. Only Real Madrid had achieved that feat before. They did it uh, twice. We can Atletico Madrid match them tomorrow. They'll be favourites to do so at home to Celta. They were excellent as well midweek, Kevin, that first half away to Porto, who haven't lost for a long, long time in Champions League at home. 1-0 down and came back second half, fantastic football, really played well second half to win the match 2-1. Well, the more you see of Atletico Madrid under Simeone, the more you think that they can take a title challenge quite deep into this season. Oh, yeah, they've got a good squad. And Pedro trying to create a little chance here on the edge of the box. Into the last minute, then. Here's Bartra. Chavi. Good run by Alves. Neatly done. <laughs> there was the chance for Alexis's hat trick. It should have been Kevin, it was a brilliant piece of play and he knows it. Oh my goodness, that's the last chance he's going to get in this game. Should have been a hat-trick for Alexis Sanchez. Not a spectacular Barcelona performance, but a solid 8 out of 10, which has been the way of it, largely in the... Martino up to now, he thinks there's more to come, the players believe there's more to come. But a 100% start continues, it's 8 out of 8, two goals for Alexis Sanchez. Neymar really came onto a game in the second half, and he too got on the score sheet. And all this after Vardalid had taken an early lead through Javi Guerra. Final score at the Camp Nou, Barcelona 4, Valladolid 1. Well, we expected Barcelona to step it up in the second half, and that's exactly what happened. Two goals from Alexis, one from Javi, and one from the excellent Neymar. It means Barca carry on their winning club record.